Massive and expensive equipment marks the professional radio station. But in the amateur field, radio parts often include pieces of assorted junk ingeniously assembled by operators who are called hams and who take up broadcasting as a hobby. Cards to prove long-distance contacts are exchanged by the hams and proudly displayed. Jimmy Mulligan here has lots of cards and lots of strange radio parts, such as whiskey glasses mounted on a cake tin. Ma's funnel actually becomes a loudspeaker, and her sieve part of a microphone. Winding a coil becomes comparatively simple when using the family egg beater. And so, while radio's youth is being served, it's cramping Ma Mulligan's culinary style. No end. Well, chow is about ready, so it's time to get the hard-working Mulligan family together. Call Jimmy. Call Jimmy. Call Jimmy. Call Jimmy. Well, I guess that means you, Grandpa. And so Jimmy is called. But shh. Grandpa, Jimmy's practically in a trance right now, so don't interrupt. All amateurs are heroes of the air at heart and dream of a chance to serve humanity or to save lives. Sacrifice. Little wonder that to Jimmy and to thousands of others like him, the amateur radio offers continuous inspiration to render aid in times of stress. Whenever a calamity occurs, the ham operator courageously and unselfishly comes to the service of the community. And speaking of calamities, well, take a look at Ma Mulligan's dinner. Boy, break out the bicarbonate. Now, Ma, remember your blood pressure. Take it easy now. Hmm, so that's the way it is, eh? Well, she'll tell him. That sounds like China. Wow, that's coming 5,000 miles on a homemade set. No wonder the Mulligans are thrilled. Through the genius of little Jimmy, they hear a man speak in far off China. In Chinese, that means that that's all for the night, folks. Yeah, good night.